everyone. Okay, so this is a really, really, really late video, but I was encouraged to do it in the comments in one of my recent videos, and so I was like, okay, fine. I've been debating it in my head. I'm just gonna get it out, do it ASAP, because I feel like I fell down on the job and I really don't like when I feel like that. So I'm doing it June favorites. I know it's like mid-July and I already need to be thinking about that one. I wanna try to get on the ball. I promise, I don't promise. We'll see what happens. I live my life in a late fashion fashionably late. I don't know. I don't think that even actually exists. I don't know. Who's to say? But I tried to make it kind of like a compressed, short, maximum impact in a st just everyday value kind of way. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Like, um, good for your money. Not that you're paying for this. But anyway, I'm not making sense. I tried to keep the list short is what I'm trying to say. So, Let's get started. I have a couple favorites and then I'm gonna do a couple rejects. First of all, I'm gonna do a fashion favorite. I've actually never done a fashion favorite, I don't think. Have I? Remind me if I have. I have no idea what I've done. What have I done? I know. I do not have my full collection of American Eagle shorts in front of me. I am wearing some right now. Hey y'all. And some are in the wash. And then there are these two. I got these um, sometime in the spring. I put them in my big spring haul and I put pictures and stuff and I've worn these a bajillion times. I love these so much. And these are newer. I haven't made a haul video about them because I've been really sucking at doing hauls. I promise I'll try to do that really soon. <laughs> Making too many empty promises today. Not empty promises. Scratch that. Anyway, I love how they fit me. They just fit me so well. Like I try on shorts everywhere cause I kind of have a shorts obsession. Like when it gets even kind of warm or whatever, like half acceptable to wear shorts outside, which was like a really long time ago in Houston. I wear shorts every single day. Like I can't remember the last time I wore pants. Only shorts, only shorts and like skirts, you know. You know, I love American Eagle shorts. They do run big. I don't know, I always have to get like a smaller size, that, which I don't know why that is, but I don't really have a problem with it. They have like some really cool styles right now. Like I think these are so cute and like hippie, cute, awesome. And yeah. So anyway, look y'all, I have a list. I'm like so organized. Next up, I have an eyeshadow palette. This is the Maybelline Limited Edition. 30Q Dainty Peach Palette. Limited edition, but I don't know what like the collection is called or whatever. I found it in a little display in Walgreens and I just randomly bought it. I don't know. I haven't really been buying a lot of drugstore eye palettes and stuff because I feel like I have so much eyeshadow and I need to like hold it back, rein it in, Leanne. And I'm trying, I really am trying, but I saw this one and I have no idea why. I just bought it and I really, really, really like the colors. I'm definitely pleased with them, especially three of them. Okay, let me swatch them on my fingers really quickly. Here is what the palette looks like up close. I'm really into like peachy colors and stuff. I think peach and pink and purple and like burgundy colors look really good on my eyes because I lean to wanting to say they're green. They might be kind of hazel. I don't know what color my eyes are, but I like to think that they're green. And so I go for the colors that look good with green because I kind of want to bring that out slash I'm in denial, I don't even know. This is a great neutral palette. The one depressing thing is the actual peach color, the dainty peach color is a little too dainty for me. It actually does not translate all that great. So there's all my colors. The two brown colors are really, really great for me and the white color is nice for highlighting. I don't know what the collection is called. I'll try to post it down below if you're looking for it. I don't, it's a drugstore product. I love the drugstore, I just do. Next, another drugstore product. This is the Milani Brow Tint Pen and it's a felt tip brow color in number two, dark brown. I think there's only one other color and it's like taupe and it's lighter than this, obviously. And I bought this way back whenever I still had my brown hair. And yes, my hair color has faded a lot and people are like, oh my gosh, your hair is brown. What happened? And what happened was red hair fades like crazy, but I'm going on a tangent. Anyway, I continued to use this one even though I changed my hair color and everything and like I integrated a different step with a different brow pencil and stuff like that. And I made it work, but this thing is like really great. I haven't tried the other color, but I really like this. Um, I'm considering doing another brow tutorial to show you how this works. I don't know, I just like this a whole, whole lot. And even when I went on vacation and I didn't feel like doing like all my brow steps and stuff, I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup, 
I would use this just a little bit and it still kind of gave like a natural effect and like bumped it up just a tiny bit. Let me swatch it for you. It's just like this. It's like a liquid eyeliner felt tip pen, you know what I mean? So it's actually kind of running out now. I like that you can get like a really fine line with this. You can also turn it on its side and like be lazy and do it really fast. There's always that. With brow colors, there's always kind of like an undertone. Sometimes they're like a greenish undertone and sometimes they're more of like a purpley red undertone and this one's definitely more of the purpley red undertone which is probably why it works so well with the red hair. It looks really really light but it's probably just because it's running out. I've had it a really good while. It's definitely still usable or whatever. Definitely worth a shot if you're into brows. I suggest this one. I've never used a different brow pen. If you have a different one that you really like and you think I should try out, let me know. But I'm always really going to gravitate towards drugstore products because I'm always down for a deal. So yeah. Next up, I have a concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream waterproof in unfortunately i have no idea what color this is honestly it's kind of a little bit light for me i got this so long ago and i used it for a while and i was like oh yeah i love this and then for some reason i kind of fell out of love with it maybe it's because i buy too much makeup and i get sidetracked and lately like since even before i went on vacation and stuff i've had like a very consistent like at least one really major hideous little friend on my face. I have actually two right now. I'm not gonna point them out because maybe you can't see them. This really comes in handy. Like obviously if the breakout is like kind of like you've been messing with it or it's like really irritated and freaking out at the moment, like no concealer is really gonna like love that and it's probably not gonna stick that great. But in a very general way, this stuff really works and um, it's definitely come in handy lately whenever my other concealers were like not totally there for me and it has pretty good staying power and like yeah you have to set it and all that and I wouldn't really use it under my eyes because it is super full cover but I don't know it's been coming in handy so I've been appreciating it. Okay, and I'm just gonna throw this in here really, really, really quickly. I know I've been like shoving these down your throat. I made that review video like so long ago and I keep talking about them and I keep wearing them. And the thing is, I'm wearing these like literally every day. I didn't even say what they were. <laughs> in case you didn't know, these are the Revlon Just Bitten Balm Stains. And today I have Sweetheart on. I freaking love these things. I don't know, I've watched reviews by other people and some of the things they say, I mean, I can kind of try to be like, okay, well, if it's a light color, it's not gonna like stain your lips. That makes no sense. Have you ever stained something with like milk? I mean, maybe you have. Maybe that's something that happens. How are you gonna stain something with a light colored something? So that doesn't really make sense to me. There's also, I wasn't going to go into this. Anyway, I don't really wanna go on and on about it, but I still love these things. I'm still using them like every day. Like anytime you're seeing me with like a lip color in any picture or anywhere, it's these things. I still love them very, very, very much. And I hope you do too, so. All right, so those are all my favorites and let's move on to the rejects. First off, we have this bronzer. It's the Victoria's Secret Loose Bronzing Powder and it comes in like a brush. It's in the color Warm Up. I know this is kind of like a cheesy gimmicky kind of packaging thing with the whole brush and the, the actual product goes into it and like yeah it has its place but at the same time it's not really the best tool because you can't really control the product and it's kind of I don't know it's just not the best it's more of like a convenience thing but I suddenly was just like I really need one of those things because I want something that I can put in my bag for some reason if my makeup is like having a meltdown and it is blazing hot where I live so that happens occasionally slash a lot the first thing that seems to go is my bronzer so suddenly I'm like white face <laughs> and like tan body and I look like a crazy person so I'm like all right, if I have like a little portable, like an easy something, I can just like, ch -ch -ch. I just wanted to find something in the whole brush, like all in one format. Cause I don't want to like carry around a brush and a product and everything like in a perfect world. Yes, I would have room to do that and all of that, but 
I don't know. I was just trying to avoid that. I wanted to do this. But anyway, I actually went into Sephora and, and I asked one of the sales associates and I was like, hey, um, I'm looking for this. And she kind of looked at me crazy. Like, we don't have nothing like that. Like, she'd never heard of it. And she made me feel really dumb. Not going to lie. And I was like, you know what? We're going to Victoria's Secret because I feel like they will definitely have something like that. And I found this hoe. And... I'm not too pleased with it, honestly. It's like there's nothing there. It's it's not dark enough for me. That's the thing. It's like mostly glitter, which bothers me. It's like all glitter and it's like no bronzer. So maybe I didn't get the right color. I'm not too sure. If you guys have a suggestion of some kind of like bronzer slash brush all in one sort of thing that you like and you think works and I can find it and everything like that, comment below and please tell me or post on my Facebook wall or something like that. I really, really appreciate your suggestions because I'm not really in love with this thing. Don't want the glitter face. Next one is not so much a fail because I'm pretty sure I put this product in my favorites video a couple months ago. It is the Time Balm Concealer by The Balm. It's like a little pot concealer like this. And I do like it. The concealer works. I like it. But the problem that I have is the packaging. And since I put this in my favorites video before, I, I have to follow up on this because I am pretty disappointed with it. The packaging is just falling apart on me. Um. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see that. It's just like all broken off on the sides. Like for some reason, when I like screw it on, it just like cracks. And um, I'm not sure. Whoa, see, more just fell off. That's not cool. So yeah, literally some of the packaging just fell off. I've gotten a lot of use out of it, but not. I'm nowhere near finishing it. And I understand that I can like repackage it and put it into something else and that's no problem like I can completely understand that but like a product just kind of like loses value with me whenever like the package instantly falls apart or falls apart for no apparent reason. I'm not a very strong lady. I mean, I'm, I feel like this should, you should already know. These are some skinny little chicken wings and I'm not like going Hulk style on this concealer and for some reason it's just falling apart and disintegrating in my hands. That's more of like a disappointment rather than a regret because I do like the product, it's just the packaging gets on my nerves. So I'm sure you can understand that feeling. Um, okay, I'm gonna throw in like an extra little category, movie favorites of the month, or I don't even know if I saw both of these in this month, not this month, but last month anyway. Least favorite was Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Oh, I could go on and on about how bad that was. And I'm all about the whole like movie that's so bad it's good. Like I'm into that. I can see value in almost anything. Like I'm a very accepting kind of optimistic person. And that movie was just like, it was like it was all a dream. I'm not doing a movie review. It was just bad. That was definitely the reject. And the favorite was by far miles ahead, amazing Moonrise Kingdom. Wes Anderson is my love and he did it again. Go see it if you haven't seen it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, honorable mention it has nothing to do with June. I'm just saying because I saw that it's like still in theaters, like, like forever. Bernie, go see it. I saw it a million years ago. Just go see that one too, especially if you're from Texas, especially if you're from Texas. So yeah, sorry, I totally did like a major tangent. But anyway, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, you can comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And you can like my Facebook if you want to. It's facebook.com slash Leanne says. And you can also find me on Twitter. That's at Leanne says really really easy to find me anywhere in the world instagram it's leanne says always really easy and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye everyone mm. i think it's a good one i know it's a good one okay here we go not really this is what i do in my life just just notes about nothing just random little scribblings on some crumply paper now what am i gonna do with this Okay. What is on the face? A hair is on that. This is what they look like. I have no idea. But it's like next, which.